My name is Peggy Phillips and I am the owner of Dial M Productions. I got started by doing what I did as a kid. Uh, when I was younger, I was, like many people have, they have their children that are dancers, singers, actors. So I was always someone who was performing as a kid. And my goal with whatever I was doing was to make a, it into a production. And when I was younger, I didn't know that's what a producer was. But as I grew up and went to college, I found out that my love for entertainment grew into producing events. And so it's my life's passion is to put on parties and produce events. Oh, there's a couple of things. First of all, I love the performers. So I have a genuine love for what the entertainers do. So I enjoy working with them, whether it's someone who's a band or it could be an actor, it could also be a Cirque du Soleil type performer. I love the performers. And then there's a the whole beauty of creating an event. It's a one-time thing. You're going to put, it's like making a, you know, a beautiful dinner. You're going to put all these pieces together and you're going to have it one time. And it's just the excitement of can you make this the most amazing you know, product you have. And then, of course, you have the client. The client is always the person who has a bit of a vision of what they want, although some are very detailed, but most of them have a vision of what they want. And it's a big, it's a big occasion. You know, the majority of our clients are corporate people, but they still, it's a big, it's a big plan. So when we bring them together, we want to make them as happy as they can, and it's great to see someone really pleased, they're relaxed, they know you're going to take care of everything. So I have three levels that I work with, which is talent, which is the product, and then of course the client. They're very different. Okay, when you're working with a, uh, like say a corporate client, a lot of times you have somebody who's been given the job of, you know, plan this, and they really don't have a background in, in entertainment or event production. So they're coming to me, and they're hoping they've chosen the right person because really, you know, their job's at stake. You know, their their boss is going to come and say, you know, what did you do? <laughs> you know, who did you find? And it's got to be great. Um, it could be a trade show that we're putting together. Or it could be a holiday party. Or you know, a lot of times what we're doing is we're we're bringing clients together. They have their vendors coming in. They want to look good to their group of community. So they have to have an event that's going to make everyone you know really pleased to be there and and excited about it. So um, they're they're hoping they come and find the right person, and that's my job. <laughs> Well, every talent has a little different personality, and, and I guess I could have gone a little bit more with what you, the first question is, you know, if you're working with a group of lawyers or if you're working with somebody who's planning, you know, you know, a, a, a wedding reception, they all have different temperaments, they have different expectations. Well, that's the same way with talent. Uh, the energy and the needs of an actor will be different than those of a musician. They all come from different backgrounds, they all want to have different things taken care of. Um, so when I step onto the pictures, I, I already know what they want. I know what an actor's going to need. I know how much time they're going to want to have before an event. Uh, I know what their temperaments are. And uh, lookalikes are different than musicians, they're different than the Cirque performers. So <laughs> it helps if I come in and I already know what I'm working with, which I do. Um, actually, when I go and I talk to, to students uh, career or their career day, uh, I tell them, first of all, I'll say, how many of you here want to be actors? You know, they raise their hands. You know, how many of you want to be dancers? They raise their hands. And then I'll say, how many of you like to read? How many actors like to read? The hands go down. <laughs> how many of you dancers like to do math? The hands go down. So, well, the one thing you're going to end up doing if you're successful in this business is the business aspect. So you have to have your math, you have to have your reading. If you're an actor, you're going to be reading, you're writing, and suddenly everything changes. It's not about just your talent. You know, talent is wonderful, but um, you have to have business behind it. So I encourage them to, yes, stay in school, get your business degrees, you know, learn all your academics.